The most popular videos on my channel have been where I've either shown or discussed the level up animations in Legends of Runeterra. It sparked lots of debate about what animations were the best and which ones desperately needed an update. I created this video before the original animations and here is my revisited version with all 48 animations, including changes to the previous rankings based on your feedback. This video includes Victor, Zoe and Riven which were all added in the Cosmic Creation expansion. In this video, I will give my opinion on which tier I think each animation falls into. I will consider two things when ranking each animation. 1. How well it captures the theme, abilities and personality of the champion. And 2. The overall quality of the animation in terms of video production and design. This video has been done in collaboration with Bomber TV. Please remember to like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications too. So let's dive in. <laughs> I'll give you to the counter. Timo desperately needs an updated animation, and it's by far the most basic out of all 48. Even though it captures his stealth ability from League, it does not explore his Mushroom Puff Cap theme at all. I was positive Timo would receive an update with the Cosmic Creation release. The top comment on one video even said Timo's level up animation is exactly as bad as he deserves and I thought this perfectly captured the thoughts of the community. Jinx's animation may be a bit controversial as it does capture her crazy and unpredictable personality, but I feel the simple spray paint over the playing field is not good enough, especially after how good her music video release was and the kind of the theme she has here. I haven't included her rocket animation in this, otherwise it may have moved slightly higher on this list. With the Cosmic Creations release, the stand of animations have really stepped up and it's highlighted how much Jinx needs an update as well. Anivia's animation captures her Egnavia revival theme but really struggles to bring her Ice Storm animation to life as much as I would like. I feel the quality could be improved here and it'd be easy to climb to say C tier for example. With Vladimir's animations it captures his flamboyant and vampiric personality but I really feel they could have done a lot more of this, maybe something to show his first for mortal blood for example. Hecarim is such a cool champion and when he levels up the opponent should be bricking it. Right now, his animation fails to deliver it, and I feel it could emphasise his ephemeral theme much further. You should be scared to see him level up. Karma is the living embodiment of an ancient Ionian soul. I do not get that from her animation at the moment, even with the minor cosmetic updates it previously received by getting a slightly better background. I was actually debating putting Darius in E tier in this video. Yes, Darius is a simple card, but you do not feel his knocks and anger from the animation. Also, spin-themed animations are, let's face it, kind of boring. This was a C tier in the first time I did this video, but the age is really starting to show now. We must not relent! Pushing my limits! Lead us to victory! Find their 
Garen, Lux and Ash all have animations that tie in fantastically with their themes, but animations just seem a tad on the basic side and could do with an update to bring them more in line with the level of the current champions that are being released. You can see the league abilities that inspire animations, which is why I haven't ranked them any lower. I really like how they've incorporated Mighty Poro into Braum's level up, especially now that Mighty Poro appears on his level 1 card, but I feel more could be done with his animation. Maybe they could have incorporated his ultimate league smash uh, that he's obviously trademarked for in the League of Legends. For Ezreal, I'm still torn between B and C tier. It's a high quality animation and captures his spell slinging theme, but it just feels a little bit short on the character that we know he has. Shen has good quality animations, but the animations just seem a little bit on the basic side and very similar to Karma's. As the leader of the King Cow, I'd love to see a little bit more here, more kind of leadership and kind of ninja style theme. Yasuo is one of the best known champions in the game, but once again, not the most interesting animation. The win theme could be taken a little bit further and to kind of more capture his kind of troll like essence from League that he's obviously very famous for. With Callista, you can really feel the anger and the undead vibes, but I would have liked this just to have been. Uh, just a little bit different, it's a little bit on the basic side. I do like how her face appears at the end though, and it kind of gives it that, that creepy vibe, which is why it isn't any low on this list. Nautilus's level up card is something to be feared with 13 13 stats. However, you don't fully appreciate his size and power from the animation. He's literally a sea god. I would expect a lot more here than just some chains and an anchor. I've also stuck Gangplank in C tier, down from the B tier where he was earlier in one of these videos, as it's just a little bit of too much of a generic animation for me. I feel there should be an explosion involving one of his kegs that would be a lot more in line with his character. So Juani had the weakest animations out of the champions when she was released in the second batch, and I particularly disliked how her fingers moved over her ball, but lots of you commented saying you liked the animation quite a lot and you feel it did capture her character quite well, which is why I've put it in this tier. For Heimerdinger, I would love to see more references to his turrets, but animation does capture his science -y theme perfectly and you kind of falls in line with the lab theme that we've received with I'm familiar with, so I think he definitely should sit in C tier. No one gets in my way. What's my name? My true beauty is beneath the skin. We're gonna need more coffins. You paid for this! I'll bring them peace. I fight with the dragon's fury. The first part of Diana's animation I love, but I just don't get that random hand appearing. Why is the thumb like that? I just can't unsee it. Trindamir was hard to rank. I love that you can feel his raw anger and fury from the animation, but compared to some of the animations later on in this list, 
the overall quality was just lacking slightly and maybe you can feel a slight age here. Katarina's and Draven's animation show off their signature moves fantastically and they're obviously both high quality animations and maybe it was a bit harsh only putting them in B tier. These are both iconic characters from League and more their personalities should be showcased, especially Draven, he's such a kind of flagship character in the series. Elise's animation is pretty high quality and one of the highest quality out of the original batch, but I feel they could have done more of a spider theme. I would have loved to see the transformation from her being human to spider form, bridged to the leveled up card basically. Lucian is controversially B tier. I love the fact that there's two animations showing on depending whether Senna or random allies were killed. And I can really feel the shock, anger and sadness in the animation, but obviously the quality of the animations just low, it's, it's different to different style to the rest, maybe a different artist, and this is why it's not A tier. This is very controversial as I know a lot of you really do like his uh, animation. Lee Sin's animation captures his theme well, but at the end of the day, it's just a blindfold and I would have loved something to do with his dragon spirit theme a lot more, but it's a high quality animation which is why it's B tier. Misfortune's animation captures the theme of Bilgewater perfectly, and I've actually since found out that her theme is referencing to a fight with Gangplank, sinking Gangplank's ship, but I wish this would be a little bit more obvious and maybe it would be higher on this list. Lulu's visuals capture her strange quirky personality, and it's obviously a high quality animation, so it deserves B tier. Could be higher to be honest, but just don't think there's better, there's better animations out there. I love how Trundle's ice pillar is incorporated into his animation, especially as his, obviously this is level up condition, but I just wanted to do more of the troll theme. It's obviously a high quality animation being one of the newer ones, which is why it deserves this high spot. Tom Kench is Bomber's least favourite of the newer animations, as he thinks it's basically just a tongue and some paper. Uh, it, it could be taken a little bit stage further and really kind of engulf his kind of engulfing theme, capturing theme, that kind of thing, where you, you really feel like you're being eaten almost by him in the level up. That's what I'd like to see. I have no eat word. absolutely love the fearsome animation from Nocturne, and I'm just sad that he's not more viable as a champion, although I have to say, he does seem to be appearing more and more decks now. So it does capture his personality, if you can call it that fantastically, and as a champion I'll always enjoy levelling up in the game. I have a mixed feelings on Tarek's animation, some love it, some hate it, and to be honest, personally I quite like it. Um, it really captures the spirit of Targon, and I'm a big fan of his kind of camp hero personality, so it deserves A tier in my opinion. Leona's animation was everything I would have loved to have seen in the contrast compared to Diana's animation, but watching this I think it really shows off who she is and her links to the sun, uh, which is why I've put it in A tier and over Diana's which, which obviously had the weird finger hand thing. Soraka's animation is very high quality and really brings to life her lore that we know from the game. Soraka's banana even makes an appearance too, so it can't be less than A tier in my opinion. But it doesn't wow me, which is why it isn't S. 
Riven's animation perfectly captures her reforging of the blade, bringing you nicely into her leveled up card. It just needs more of a wow factor to get into that top tier uh, grade. Fiora's level up animation brings back fond memories of her old ultimate which the legacy players of League of Legends will remember. It fits perfectly as a halfway point to her 4 win kill condition, so it definitely deserves A tier. Queen's animation perfectly captures her relation with Valor, and I feel it shows a side of her log that the elite character fails to address. I like the bird's eye swoop in, it's very different to the spins that you see on all the other cards, so definitely A tier. When you see Maokai's level up, you know you've let the game go on way too long. I love the inclusion of the sapling's fun personality along with the toss animation that follows. It's one of the spinning animations. I think someone on my last video even counted that there's 22 spins. Um, and as it's just a spin, maybe it should be B tier, uh, but we'll leave it A for now because of the fun sapling side to it. Fresh's animation is everything you would expect, from collecting souls to his infamous hook. The only thing that would make this appear slightly higher, maybe S tier, would be a reference to Lucian or Senna, or maybe an alternate level up uh, if you do manage to kill one of those or if they're on the pitch or something. Zed's animation was actually the first I saw in the game and it made him an early favourite from his animation alone. It's obviously a high quality animation and truly brings to life the living shadows, no pun intended. Fizz's animation really emphasises his fun and inclusion of Longtooth would be very popular with the Fizz mains in the league. The animation was what I expected it would be and it didn't let me down in the slightest. Of course Vi's animation had to have a famous Hextech Gauntlet punch in the walls. Adding to her sworn rival Jinx as spray paint on the wall was also a genius idea, but the more I've watched this, the more I realise it wasn't deserving of the S tier space I did on the first versions of this video. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Wonder at my creation! Now I take to the sky! Must evolve! As humanity ebbs, the machines rise! Swain is the Nox and Grand General and he needed a proper epic animation and boy are we treated with his. The comments for my video with all the animations had so many people declaring their love for it and the animation fits perfectly in line with his lore. You can really feel how he sees the control of the Empire with his ruthless determination for the animation. My personal favourite. Tristed Fate was the best animation in the game with the second release. It shows off perfectly his sleight of hand and gives a quick insight into how he gambled and charmed his way across Runeterra. You get to see his famous red, gold and blue cards and the animation quality is obviously on par of the best, 10 out of 10. When I released the 42 animation video, everyone was talking about Aurelian Souls animation. It's the animation you don't want to see as it basically means game over. I'm sure I have several nightmares over this animation as I'm currently refusing to play him and I remember when he first came out everyone was playing him. A very powerful champion with a stunning animation and it shows us everything about him that his league champion fails to do so. Giovanna's animation is everything you want it to be and it really brings to life her dragon form as it flies across the sky and it was my personal favourite from the previous expansion release. Victor is my favourite animation from the Cosmic Creation expansion and it really shows you the direction Riot are going in for the new animations. It shows all this Hextech theme and gets obviously away from the traditional spins that you see in all the other animations, so a real real step up here. So I actually put Zoe in A tier, but Bomber told me this animation deserves S tier for the Poro alone, so I'm going to put it here and hopefully this pleases lots of you. On my animations video, lots of you commented on how rarely you actually see this animation in the game, so it seemed fitting that a good animation was in line with a champion that was hard to level up. So thanks for listening guys, is there any ranks on this list that you disagree with? What would you change? I would love to hear in the comments. 
This video has been done in collaboration with Bomber TV. Please remember to like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications too. See you next time guys.